Hey Notre Dame fans, Mike Singer from blueandgold.com with our beat writer Ashton Pollard. Um, no Tim Hyde. Where, where, where's Tim Hyde? No, no Tim Hyde on this video, just Ashton and myself. Um, so Ashton was at the Notre Dame Quarterback Academy camp on Friday afternoon. It was what, three, three and a half hours long, Ashton? Yeah, so three to six thirty. It ended probably around six twenty. So yeah. So my understanding is about a hundred quarterbacks there. Um Maybe not many of them ending up as Division One caliber prospects, but we'll kind of touch on the main name um, who was in attendance. But wanted to get your thoughts on just what a when we like when you say camp to me, like I remember in high school when I went to like tennis camps, they were like a week long thing. Or if you think of camp, maybe like camping. Neither of those things here when we're talking about a Notre Dame football camp. So tell our audience what it was, what you got to see, what these quote unquote campers were even doing. Yeah. So it was my first one too. So I kind of went in a little bit blind. It was just going to figure it out as I go. Brian Mason, the special teams coordinator brought them out all out to like the 50 yard line. And this is inside of um, Notre Dame's like indoor practice facility. So brought them into the 50 yard line, um, gave them the welcome to Notre Dame spiel, um, played kind of a, a recruiting video that, showed them showed them highlights talked to them about four for 40 kind of all of that all of that typical recruiting pitch i guess that notre dame gives um and then he handed it over to tommy reese who is the offensive coordinator who obviously specializes in quarterbacks he's technically the quarterback coach as well um and reese kind of went over more of the run of show i guess so yeah was split into three parts they started with a testing part um so they ran 40s they did a broad jump and then they did um some sort of shuttle run. Um, then they split and they did, they split into like groups that they were named by colors. Uh, they never explained to us what those meant. I assume they were just like an organizational thing, but split into about, I would say six to eight groups um, with some moving parts between. So people are kind of moving between groups at times, but um, those were led by um, Tommy Reese was popping around kind of between all of them. Um, Chris O'Leary actually led a group, even though he is an Notre Dame safeties coach, he played wide receiver at Indiana State. So he obviously understands the quarterback brain a little bit from that. And then largely offensive analysts. So like Gus Raglan was leading a group. He was the um, Miami quarterback uh, for four years, I believe, four-year starter. Um, you had Trevor Mendelson, who was an offensive lineman, but it was kind of like an all hands on deck effort, I guess, from the offensive analysts um, that were, that were um, overseeing the groups. And they were doing all kinds of different drills then they came back together toward the end um head coach marcus freeman actually came he he talked to them for five or ten minutes um they did kind of a, a wrap-up like competition type of throwing um drill where the kids got to like get involved and they gave out some like camp awards i guess that was a gist of kind of what happened over the the course of the three-ish hours so like i said one big name that was there and adrian posse from um, Miami Christopher Columbus High School four-star quarterback Notre Dame offered him last summer he's in the 2024 class so going into his junior year of high school I mean Ashton we, we sent you to cover this thing mainly because he was going to be there he's got a Notre Dame offer um, he's about 6'4 230 pounds curious first of all what, what you thought of him you know watching him play yeah, so um, he was with he was mixing with the group for the testing and for the initial um, breakout into doing individual drills and stuff. And to your point about him him being six four, you could definitely tell. Um, I don't I don't want to knock the other kids that were there, but not very many of them were six four. So he definitely stood out. You could see him. Um, and yeah, we we kind of got up close, I guess, because he was kind of closer to our sideline where the media, where we were allowed for the first part. So we got to we got to see him up close for that. Um, in terms of, yeah, break, once they broke out into individual groups, he was on the far side for part of it, but then he actually um, worked one-on-one -on -one with Tommy Reese and they went back inside of the facility. So if you're not um, familiar, I guess, with how it's laid out, there's a full field inside and there's two outside. So everyone else was outside. Um, Adrian came in, uh, worked with Tommy Reese and, a receiver that he brought with him. This kid could make some impressive 40, 50 yard throws. I would say the, ma the majority of them were kind of your 10, 15 yard out route typically. Um, and he was pretty accurate. Um, a couple, a couple were a little high, but I mean, a couple of all quarterbacks throws are a little high. A lot of them were right on target. Um, yeah. Toward the end of that kind of one-on-one -on -one ish session with the, the receiver too. Um, yeah. He threw a couple of passes over the top uh, 40, 
50 yards that were really impressive and, and pretty much right on target. So I was impressed um, with him. Like I said, the first kind of part of those individual drills, we were a little farther away from him. But once we were able to get kind of up close and, and see him working one on one with Tommy Reese, um, he was he was definitely very, very impressive. And he he looks like he would be a college quarterback. I mean, he is a rising junior. So he I mean, he, he's still pretty big. Like, But uh, yeah, so that that's kind of the takeaway that that we had from watching him. And before we get you out of your action, any thoughts on, you know, any of the coaches, the demeanor, just how they kind of went about the camp? Maybe uh, definitely want to touch on Tommy Reese since this, you know, his position, his show. Yeah, so I think it was a good balance of we're here to have fun because this is a, a summer camp, um, Friday afternoon, whatever, but also we're here to work and we're here to teach you and you're not here for no reason. Um, Something that stuck out to me was I don't know which analyst it was, but at one point, like someone didn't finish their route and he went back and he was like, Hey, like if you're going to be here, like you need to fit it. Like that was a 10 yard route. You went nine, like you're going to go back and do it again. So like, and it was, it was not done in like a malicious like way. It was more just like, Hey, like this is Notre Dame. We're going to do this right. Like you didn't pay to be here to not do it right either. So, um, there was there was that element where like that was kind of the more I guess serious element if if you could say but at the same time I heard the word fun 10 15 times out of Brian Mason's mouth Tommy Reese's mouth like they were very clear that like yeah you're here to learn um and but also like we want you to have fun and I know that like I said when Marcus Freeman talked at the end we kind of had to stand a little farther away so I didn't hear every word but his message seemed to be like you're the one that's here but take this back to your high school team and teach and teach them like don't just don't um use this experience as something in a vacuum like you can take what you've learned here take it back to your take it back to your high school teams um make sure you kind of spread the word i think like obviously it was it was a little bit of like a recruiting pitch of like take your notre dame knowledge and like send it elsewhere but also i think it it was it was good because freeman was very clear to be like you want to help others like you're the leader of the team as the quarterback so make sure that um uh, we hope you learned something about leadership and football and make sure you take that back to your respective team. All right. That's the update from the Notre Dame quarterback Academy camp. We will have Irish invasion on Sunday. I think all of, I think all five blue and gold staff writers, we will be there in attendance and also Sunday night football camp. June 12th should have some, um, some big time prospects there as well. The, the Irish invasion list June 5th is, is big time. June 12th. Again, we'll have some, ba- some, talented prospects as well so locked in to blue and gold.com one dollar for one year premium access uh, make sure you hit thumbs up on this video and stay locked in to our blue and gold youtube channel